on and welcome to another Kevin Entertainment video. It's Art and Game Everybody's Air 15 here with the spoiler free review for the church on Ch on Ruby Road. It's the new Christmas special for 2023 for Doctor Who. It's special for in 2023. So let's dive right into it, shall we? It's spoiler free, of course. Um I liked I thought Shooty Got Was Doctor was fun and playful. Excuse me, excuse my pardon my phone. I thought his doctor was fun and playful. I thought uh, it was very Christmassy. It was just a fun overall episode. I like Ruby Sunday. She is awesome. I think it's funny that they first met her on a Sunday. And even the doctor remarked on the coincidence. Uh, the full version of the Goblin song and the context for the Goblin song, because you know the Goblin song was actually uh, put on YouTube by the BBC be well before it actually um, the episode dropped, and it's actually the Goblin song is actually on iTunes too. To uh, I thought the Goblin song was funny, and I thought it was lighthearted and playful. And to me, Goblins being in Doctor Who wasn't. Um, anything too much because I thought it was amazing I thought it was um, no more fantastical than say Daleks or Cybermen or, or Sontarans or aliens that fart for God's sake I mean it, it's no more fantastical than, than that um, what did you think about the episode there again everybody's there for tea. Oh, it's a, it was really good. Happy, happy, I, happy! I watched it. Uh, what? Yeah, a good storyline. <laughs> what did you think about uh, Shooty Got was first full outing as the Doctor? Is the his first solo outing as the Doctor? It was interesting. I think, I think I've been used to uh, David Tennant for the last three episodes. So. Yeah, because I think David Tennant might have been the last actor you watched, wasn't it? Or, or was it Matt Smith? Matt Smith. Yeah, so you're used to the yeah. more you're used to the more serious doctors. Where I think Shooty's doc, doctor, at least f so far from what we've seen in uh, the giggle, and so far as I can surmise in this without spoiling it, I think his doctor. Is going to be more playful, but I do think his doctor has a more serious side, um, for reasons of which you know. But you guys will find out when you watch the episode, because there is a point where he has to become more serious, um, and I, I just thought it was a fun, cool episode. I do still think that the TARDIS having its sterile interior is wearing on me a little bit. I want it to, to look like the Doctor lives there, where I like how big and spacious it is, I'm not saying that, but I think it needs to, to look lived in. What do you th what do you think about things there, Game Everybody's here for tea? I think I, I think I agree. You agree? Any other insights from the episode that you can think of? That are spoiler free. But yeah, it was a fun episode. I think Ruby Sunday, because we know Millie Gibson, who plays Ruby Sunday, is the new companion for the Doctor. And I think she's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I think she's. I think Shooty Gatwa and Millie Gibson are just going to be a blast of a pairing. Kind of like. Catherine Tate and David Tennant, in a way, because I I can see the, them having that much fun because they're both along the young side. Shooty being I think 26 and Millie's only 19. Yeah. Didn't realize the age gap. But I th I think it's going to be more fun because Shooty has a way of playing the elder statesman Time Lord that adds depth and gravitas but his youth is gonna is gonna bring a lot of fun into it I think but it's it's definitely how many popcorns would you give this episode if you were to rate it one 
one popcorn being the worst, ten the ten popcorns being the best. How many would you give me? That's outside. I was gonna say six or seven popcorns myself because it, 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 it it's too soon to, to say whether the pairing is going to be completely amazing like Catherine Tate and Donna. I almost said Donna Tate because Catherine play, Tate plays Donna Noble, but mm -hmm. but. Uh, Catherine Tate and David Tennant, but I do think it made me want to see more. It, I can't wait for 2024. Um, for those that don't know, season one of Disney New Who, or season 14, however you want to number it, I'm going to number it as 14 because I've seen all 13 previous seasons of New Who. So to me, it's season 14 comes out in spring 2024 and that's the only thing we know we don't know an official release date all we know is spring 2024 yep so uh and that's not a spoiler because they did put that out on twitter right after the episode went live because i saw that before the episode went live before we watched the episode I know that. yeah so that was not a spoiler of any means. That was on the B BBC's official Doctor Who Twitter. So, and I guess I still call it Twitter. I don't call it by the 24th letter in the alphabet, for God's sake. Um, but I thought it was fun. I thought it was good popcorn. I liked, I liked the rhythm and the movement, and I liked that it was around Christmas time. And it felt Christmassy, which it needed to. It was the freaking Christmas special, the first one we got since 2017. Wow. So, because remember, we we had been getting holiday specials around the New Year, be, thanks to Chris Chibnall. <laughs> That's just my natural reaction to when I say Chris Chibnall's name is going to is to go because <laughs> he would. <laughs> But it was just a, it was just a fun, Christmassy vibing episode. It was a Doctor Who vibe episode, I, I would say. Any final thoughts there, uh, Game Buddy Zero Fifteen? It was a good episode. I liked it. The man of many words. Now you see what I got to deal with on a daily basis. But. Let us know in the comments down below Blow your spoiler-free thoughts. Let us know that in the comments down below if you watch the Shooty Got One uh, Christmas special. And yes, we will be covering uh, Season 14 or Season 1, however you want to do it. Um, the way I'll do it is instead of covering it week by week, because it's probably going to be roughly around 10, 8 to, 8 to 14 episodes. What I'll do is once the season airs, we'll do a season premiere uh, kind of plot preview kind of thing. And then we'll do a season wrap-up at the end of the season. And hopefully by the time season wrap-up comes, we can get Gamer Buddy 15 to join us in the uh, fray. Because it looks like, for all intents and purposes, uh, Russell T. Davies on Twitter said... It was going to start in mid to late spring. So I'm thinking that's either March, April, or May. Possible. So, and that's only my conjecture. Because all we know for sure right now is spring 2024. That's it. But thank goodness 2024 is in like a week. Yep. So... But until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 p.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy watching, Merry Christmas, I'll see you again soon. For both of us, Gamer Buddies are 15 and myself, we'll see you again soon, and peace.